In the last video, we introduced 2 by 3 stack multiplication. So we took a 2 digit and a 3 digit number, multiplied them. Talked about a little of the theory behind it. In this video, we're going to work more on the routines and the practice of it. So here, let's come up with some examples. We'll say 231 times 20, 22. Don't want to carry there. And then we'll make it a little bit tougher. We'll try 764 times 5, and then we'll finish up oh, times 55, and then we'll finish off with 999 times 99. So here's the process of how it works. We start with our first digit and multiply it by the three digits above. So 2 times 1 is 2, 2 times 3 is 6, and 2 times 2 is 4. And then we move on to the next digit. So now, this is 20, so we're starting with 20, so 20 times 1 will give us a 2 here. But you might want to put a 0 here as a placeholder so you don't accidentally put the 2 here. And think about it, that would make sense, right? 20 times 1, how could they give you just a 2 over here? That would mean 20 times 1 is just 2, and that's too small. So 20 times 3 is, or 2 times 3 is 6, and 2 times 2 is 4. Add them up. Right? and we get 5,082. The next problem, we start with this 5 right here, right? multiply by the 4, the 6, and the 7. So 5 times 4 is 20, 0 and a 2 from the 20 goes here, 5 times 6 is 30, plus 2 is 32, 2 here, and this 3 goes in the hundreds place because again, 5 times 60 is 300, and we're adding 2 tens, so it's 300, and 20. 3 goes in the hundreds place. So now 5 times 7 is 35 plus 3, 38. And now before we move on, I'm going to cross these two out. I might need to carry some other digits and I don't want to confuse them with what I was carrying before. And I put a 0 here as a placeholder because now I'm starting with 50 times 4, which is 2, you know, 200. But we can think of it as 5 times 4 is 0 tens, right? And and two, oops, yes, and two hundredths. So now the places are all shifting. Five times four is twenty. Zero and two. Five times six is thirty plus two. Two and three. And now five times seven thirty five plus three is thirty eight. So you can sh see that because we had the same digit repeated, we had three hundred eighty two here the first time. And because it's the same digit with the same numbers, the same digits appear, 3, 8, and 2, but they're shifted over. It's 10 times bigger because the first 5 was just 5 1s, and now the 5 represents 5 10s. So next, we add up these pieces, add them all together, and we get 0, 2, 10, 11, 12, and then 4. And one more to go. Here, we're multiplying nines, all nines, so we should see some kind of shifting pattern. 9 times 9 is 81. 9 times 90 is <coughs> 810, plus 880. This 8 or this 80 is 890, so, so 81. 9 times 9 is 81. And then add 8, we 89. This 8 goes in the hundreds place. 9 times 9 is 81, plus 8 is another 89. And I'm going to make a jump here and say this next time I'll get the same thing but shift it over right by in by one tens oh by by a tens place so the one goes to the tens place the nine the tens goes to nine hundredths nine hundredths go to nine thousands and eight thousands go to eighty thousands but let's check so this nine times this nine gives us eighty one oh crosses that first so we put a 1 here and an 8 here. This 9 times 9 also gives us 81 plus 8 is 89. So put a 9 here and an 8 up here. This last 9 times 9 is 81 plus 8 is 89. So look like that prediction was right. So we have 1, 10, 18. 9 plus 9 is 18 plus 1 is 19. 9 plus 8 is 17 plus 1 is 18. 8 plus 1 is 9. So there, this is what I get, 98,901.
Thanks.